Well, hello, my fellow Ronin. It seems we did it. Well, we did something. Yeah, maybe a little Q&A for all the weird shit that just happened. You could say I've become enlightened since that, but I don't know yet. Guess we'll see. But I, Nessie said it right. I am so fucking just happy you are all patient with me. I hope it was worth waiting for. Hope it was waiting for, uh, worth waiting for tonight in the past seventh month. Months. I'm so enlightened. I can't even talk English anymore. I'm beyond words. But I really hope you all enjoyed that journey. Uh, feel free to ask me stuff. I, didn't, I wasn't going to do this, but I think this is kind of cool for those that want to ask some questions. <laughs> but I am true Yeti now. And things are happening. Or are they? It's God. Why'd you pull a Vegeta? It just seemed proper, huh? <laughs> yes. The enemy armada. Yeah. Their technology was transformative in nature. Uh, they, had a, they would transform into a mobile mode to get into our galaxy. And then eventually you'd see they transform into warships and then all transformed in the rest of them anyway that Addy didn't destroy. They all became one giant space station to, uh, I assume, destroy us. But the field surrounding us, that uh, weird colored field, didn't, didn't seem like it was to destroy us. I'll have to get back to you on that. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, my memory's a little foggy. I feel like I've been in a dream. Let's see some other questions. Annie, what was the white chocolate? What is white chocolate? That is a good question. Why did I pull a Vegeta? Right, it, it was just, it, it needed to be done. I had to made, make the ultimate, I can't even talk anymore. <laughs> the ultimate sacrifice for my fellow Ronin. Yes, we all must make sacrifices sometime. Did you use AI generated images? I did. I used four different AI generation techniques including Kyber, Ginmo. What is going on over here? <clears throat> yes. I, I used some, uh, use Leonardo mostly to create the images. Then I used Kyber and Ginmo to create the videos. And then I edited the videos from there. Because some of those AI videos did not capture what I wanted. So I'd have to add some shit to it, you know? True Neo Yeti? Hopefully in the future. But not quite yet. We still have a long journey ahead of us, my fellow Ronin. Uh, we had a baby check. Oh, we have a Dexter check too. I think we've all made it through this. I think we're just fine. Yeah, so that's what Dorothy said. It was indeed the OWW flagship ship. Flagship, yeah, there's sheep too. Flagship. They sent, uh, I. I, I had imagined they were going to, someone was going to send something while I was in stasis. You know, I could, we couldn't really defend ourselves. A lot of systems were down. And I knew someone was going to attack, hence the shielding. But I certainly didn't think they would send that many goddamn people after us. But it didn't seem to matter in the end, did it? Tell me about my big gay gumball. Well, here's the thing, Ronin, and I, I, didn't, I didn't specify this. Ooh, I like my new teeth. Um... The shielding was a two-phased thing, lots of phases. The outer shell, the bubble outer layer, was meant to stop enemy fire from externally. However, as Dorothy said, you could drain it from the inside too, which is why Dark Yeti was draining our shields. But there was a second layer uh, uh, of the ship. If you looked at the exterior of the ship, if you go actually in Dojo updates in the Discord, you'll see an image or an animation. Uh, we had a sort of diamond matrix reflective shielding. So it, it was literally to capture that energy they shot at us. Don't ask me how I knew they were going to have that sort of technology against us, but I figured that would be the best defense was to use their own weapons against them. So I guess I absorbed their energy, turned into a gumball, and did some shit. I don't know. I'm a little 
foggy on what happened there at the end. Hmm. Big gay ball. Gay, big gay ball. Where's my big gay son? I love my big gay son. Yeah, I appreciate everyone sticking with me. I know that was rough goings. I'm so sorry. But this is the first time I've ever done anything like this. Like to this extent, Dark Yeti round one and two was nothing like this. When it came to actually like everything I had to actually make it work. He slept through the Dark Yeti fight? Well, he's a stronger fighter than maybe even me. Is that the cosmos trying to pull you into the bliss, peeking through the background? I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> That's not supposed to be there. I'm supposed to be in some sort of uh, place among pla uh, uh, place beyond places. Yeah, so the OWW apparently doesn't just watch. And it's funny, he came in to the chat and started telling us about shit, saying our shielding wouldn't work. Well, apparently they didn't know what they were talking about, now did they? When is part four? So that's the thing, in Ameldia, if you're still there, real talk, you all did get the bad ending. The worst ending was basically what you all saw the first two times. <laughs> uh, but you don't really get to see the fruits of the ending until later. Another little, it's not gonna be an event as much as a video I'm gonna upload. I will tie it in somehow. You'll see, I have lots of plans, possibly. But yes, we got the, you're like, why is that the bad ending? We won. Well, guess you'll have to tune in to find out. But, uh, what was I saying? But yes, the, 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 the follow-up to what you all just saw for the bad ending slash kind of good ending will be posted on YouTube and in the future. I'm going to have to get with Ameldia. We have, we have, we've been talking about some ideas. She wanted to get involved, so. Yes. And then things will make a little bit more sense. Seen shielding on the inside and outside. Now, I'm sorry I'm a little slow, but yeah, the outer bubble shield was to stop any enemy forces, uh, any energy weapons, really. And the internal sh shield, which was actually attached to the hull of the ship, the hull of the ship looks like it's reflecting everything, of which it was. It would absorb, then reflect, and it worked perfectly. But again, I don't know exactly what happened after. I hope Earth is safe. Uh, I know I kind of went off there. <laughs> He's still using stuff. Hey, I didn't know anything else would work. All right. You're already under my Genjutsu. Hmm. Well, hello. Imagine I'll Crow coming in after the battle. Looks like he survived too. Interesting. <laughs> Sorry, some th I wasn't really planning on this Q&A, but I, I wanted to talk to y'all some more since I kept fucking up. <laughs> yeah, the shielding worked perfectly. When phase three started, was that Dark Yeti shield? N the, the blue, like, hexagrid shield? No, that, that was, in my mind, more of like an oxygen shield to, so you all could actually teleport into the dojo to fight them. That was my thoughts. That's why shit, what, if you look carefully, and I can't really play, can I play it here? Look at this, I'll show you a little something. Show you some background information. If you look carefully, and there's so many small details. When I go back and uh, edit this and post it on YouTube, for those interested, go back and look at some small details. There's really, I worked on a lot of little details in. Okay, watch this. Watch, let's see, where is it? There's a lot, so many layers, bro, so many sources. I can't begin to explain how, how much there is involved in this. Uh, let's see. No, you sound bitch. <laughs> oh, wrong one. Uh, this one? Yes. Watch over, watch over here. Shit, you see his head? His head's floating? <laughs> The shields come up and he falls because it's as if gravity comes back and oxygen comes back and then that's literally when you all teleport. This was my favorite part of all. Making the dojo crack open, me going to hardcore. Did y'all expect Dark Yeti to go hardcore? Fuck, man. That's some, that's some hardcore shit right there. Let me go back to chat. I apologize. Oh, an ad. Fucking ads. At least you subs get to hear me. When I stream from now, we'll be a decrepit dojo. Exactly. No, all, all things will be answered. But for now, the Ronin Yeti must depart. He must do things in the background. And you all are stuck with Mr. Darling. <laughs> Damn. Damn it. It is fine, Ameldia. We planned for most contingencies. Even the resave, even the reloading our saves, huh? <laughs>
Hold on, let me, uh, here, let me bring up, let me bring, here, let me bring out some very special people. Very, very special people tonight. Every one of you are special for being here, but we have, hold on, let me, uh, let me do this. There we go. We have Alcatraz, Annie, Nessie, Boba, Patch, and then we had V set up. She could not make it, but yes, um, I like these little animations. And the fighting, the fighting was fun. My dad no work. Hmm. Nope. Oh, there it is. Okay, try it now. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, I was so scared that you were, uh, Addy and Patch did their IEDs early. Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I'm a lizard, Yeti. I'm a lizard, Yeti. Where's Nessie's picture? Oh, okay. Anyway. But yeah, thank you, Crow, for coming in. You will have to see the event. The event kind of fucked up because my fingers are so big and I hit... The first problem was I hit two Stream Deck buttons at once. Whoops. The second problem was, it, was that I deactivated all commands, even my own. And when I tried to play them, I realized I turned them off. When I turned them back on, it played every single command I'd hit up to that point. That's why it was raping everyone's ears and eyes. <laughs> yeah, we're just talking. It's a little Q&A after the fact. What happened, Sinner? Well, too fucking bad, bro. <laughs> you knew, bro. But you'll see it on YouTube's. What the fuck, Nessie? What is all that? Is Yeti coming back? Yeti, the Ronin Yeti shall come back in a different capacity. But y'all stuck with Mr. Darling for now. Had TGM shields tech made, made to you in time, your shields would have been impenetrable. Yeah, and hopefully even from the inside. As you saw, uh, we were cracked open like an egg. Mm-hmm. The drones didn't help any. No, Dark Yeti corrupted a few different things. He even corrupted the armory items to change their numbers ever so slightly. <laughs> he's a corrupter, or he was. I suppose he still is inside of me. But that's a whole other story. The hardcore was wild. I thought, I thought the voice, I think the whole yelling with the voice changer when it was cracking, I thought that was pretty good. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. I like yelling anyway. <laughs> It's, it's in there. It's, it, we had, uh, so the Discord, if you sign up for the event, Crow, it tells you even in your time zone when stuff starts. And how we've been here since 9 p.m. But you're good, brother. You are good. It's kind of funny you weren't here, though. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I don't know. Yeah, it's 1230 right now. Okay, I'm getting caught up in chat. I apologize. Huh? Uh, no, Patch, I feel you. No, I, 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 no, that's one contingency I didn't plan for. The screaming, man, that voice mod, I went from, uh, so I got Dark Yeti, Hardcore Yeti, and True Yeti voice, voices. And voice mod, I'm really surprised it even changed between them on time, because it always delays, but uh, that's at least one thing that worked. <laughs> it worked every time. Alcatraz, thank you so much for coming in. I know you, you were tired, you got work tomorrow. Brother, I really appreciate you throwing Dragon Balls at my head. Bring me back to reality, and I'm glad you're okay. Thank you so much, sir. You couldn't hear any of it? Well, I assume you muted it because of Justin, but uh, again, for those that want to see it from a third-person perspective, again, people see it on YouTube eventually. I'm going to have to do a lot of editing because we cut the stream a billion times. Hmm. I really hope you enjoyed it, Alcatraz. Yeah, I... So, uh, spoiler alert, this whole system I've developed to let you all use your reactives to fight me and me actually react to your... So, I kept spamming my attacks, I apologize, I thought it would be cool. But every time you all hit me, you all would cause a certain filter to go off on me, like make me all hazy or pixelated and stuff. And every time I hit you, if you were looking at your reactives, they too would get affected. Like when I did the fire, you all would be on fire. So, all those little mechanics can be used for the future BDE segments. Like with Sephiroth? But imagine you all fighting Sephiroth yourselves. Maybe with me in between you all and stuff. But that's, that's the future of the BDE system, is this. This is a precursor. This was to see if I could even do it. <laughs> yeah, poor Addy. Poor Addy and Dorothy, y'all. Jesus. I thought I wanted to add some comedy, some horror, some suspense, and some drama. I don't know if I achieved that, especially with having to restart the stream. But yeah. But you have a good night, Alka. Anyone else who needs to leave, thank you so much for coming in. TGM carries a dual layer shielding. Yeah, yeah, see, there you go. Well, see, that's what the bubble shield was for, but it just, apparently 30,000 chi points was not enough. And Annie kept all of her chi to herself. 
Yep, gotta have a funeral for Addy. I don't know. I have a feeling he's somewhere amongst us. But if he is gone, his sacrifice, uh, excuse me, will not be in vain. But he really fucked him up, didn't he? Jesus. And if you all notice, if you go back to the recording, you'll hear Addie screaming in the background every so often. Like, we recorded like 10 different lines that would play at random. And you can hear him in the, in, in the background changes with fire going everywhere. So just little details I wanted to immerse you all with more. Gay. Anything's, everything's gay. Oh yeah, I'm gonna probably have like a bloopers reel, huh? <laughs> Thank you, Nessie. I really, I'm, I, again, I apologize it didn't go purely fine. It was fine up until the end. I think it fucking went perfect up until the very end. And luckily I can edit that on YouTube, just splice a little bit right there. But uh, yeah, I, I, I'm really surprised that went well, especially live. We have 0.2% rendering lag and no encoding lag. That's insane. How is that even possible? Just to think of how he was when we first met him. Oh yeah, he's, he's got that confidence rolling now. I feel you, Amelia. Interesting. Tyson, thank you so much for coming back. We're having a little Q&A after the fact. Just answering some questions. If anyone missed any part of tonight's event, I, and of course, if you want to see it and how it's supposed to look, uh, in the remastered version, I will post it and splice it on YouTube. And then for Boba and others who are interested, I'll have a little blooper reel. Haven't made one of those in years. Oh, yeah, it is good. You're right, Annie. It's good now. Well, uh, no, I'm just saying you think everything's good. How about that? <laughs> Challenge. See, that's the thing, too. We're in a dojo, right? I, I wanted you all to, like, be able to battle each other, too, in almost like a Pokemon style. Because if you all noticed, talk about Dark Yeti being a Pokemon, I only had four abilities. Just like a fucking Pokemon. So that's essentially what it would be. Every time we capture a Dark Yeti persona and get them on our side, the, the Roni Yeti gets new powers that we can use to fight, yada, yada, yada. And hence the whole turning into a video game thing. <coughs> yeah, I think duels would be cool. We used to have duels, but they were only chat-based. They weren't very good. Oh, for that number four spy, I feel like. <laughs> uh, no, we only had the Diak under the floorboards in the particular hall. It did its job, though. <laughs> The Diak, the Dark Yeti Usurper Contraption, with a K, if anyone is interested. Why the shaft was called the Diak. I thought that'd be appropriate. You go feed the baby? Oh, well, again, Nessie, I hope you had a wonderful birthday. I hope this was a great way to end your birthday and start Halloween. For the rest of you as well, to start a nice little Halloween with a nice streaming event. Uh, as I said, though, I will... I, I've got this month to think about things. Um, yeah, but things are going to happen. I'm not going too far. Did Dark Yeti even have max IVs and EVs? Fuck, I don't know. What is that? <laughs> what that? I'm so enlightened, I'm retarded. I went full circle. That's why they say don't go full retard. Happy birthday, Nessie. Yes. Yes, a kiss of the baby. Mwah, mwah, mwah. The Diak is a very strong, rigid, hard system. However, if you all notice, there are no balls to the Diak system. Perhaps that will be a different system entirely. <laughs> I was going to add some big, like, reactors that look like balls with hair that look like wires, but I was like, don't go that far. It's all right. There's so many things I didn't add, but I, I think this was enough. <laughs> More than enough. Oh, Pokemon terms. I'm sorry. Now, well, if you notice there... Uh, when I kill Dorothy, I, I go, you think this is a game? And I, the HUD just goes away as if it was just a game. It was all bullshit. I thought that was funny, though, that Dark Yeti had to be trapped in a fucking turn-based time battle system. But then he goes hardcore, and it turns into real time. And you all have cooldowns. I thought that was a nice little segue. <laughs> An heiress? I did, didn't I? No, so that's the thing, too. Not everything in this event was original, obviously. There's a lot of meta here. Dojo meta, video game meta, movies meta, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So just trying to pull from some of the classics as well, and you know, be like, oh, I, I remember that from something else, you know, kind of reaction, you know. You can't go, you can't be too original on the internet, or you'll get lost. <laughs> go to the dark web. Don't go choke, Nessie. Damn. Uh, wait, on the contrary, it's quite easy to be. Oh yeah. You beat the hell out of my diak. <laughs> Not a slut. A control slut. <clears throat> but no, I mean, 
There's a lot of there's a lot of opportunity with this software. Uh, Sushi Dragon, another streamer, does a lot of really amazing visual things, and he definitely knows a lot about software. But when it comes to like true interactability, at least when it comes to like making a video game through this medium. I mean, if you all know someone else that's done something like this, please let me know, because I kept harping y'all, like, this is something you'll never want to miss, because it's something you've never seen before. I've been around Twitch eight years, and granted, I haven't seen every stream ever from every streamer, but I've honestly never, uh, okay, Moon Bitch, Alka, if you're still there, probably not, but there's a streamer called Moon Witch or Moon Bitch. She does this cool thing where if you um, donate bits or something, she'll get bigger until she's like as big as the world, she has the world in her hand. That's cool as fuck. Uh, but I'd, honestly, I don't think I've ever seen anyone do something like this. And I think people need to. Need to hit that next level, you know? That next level shit. Is there any music? Can I have some music, please? <laughs> I think there's a music thing in here. Hold on. I need some... Yeah, f no, fuck it. My godly voice is enough. Wait, so Dark Yeti sliced off your dick? He did! Did you see that? He killed my girlfriend, my AI girlfriend waifu. They sliced my dick off. He wasn't playing, bro. <laughs> he was not playing. <laughs> yeah, so the, the, Annie, this contraption we used to trap, uh, to capture Dark Yeti was the dick. The big shaft that gets split. Where is it? Here's the dick animation. You see it? Look. There's so many details. You all have to go back to watch. There's so many details. And when that falls, it, may, it, it makes the timer interface go all glitchy. Just another small detail. But that's, that was the dick. The Dark Yeti Usurper Contraption. <laughs> Giant mommy fetish. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. She knows her audience. The dick system is for everyone. Well, hopefully in the near future... Because there are five Ronin Yeti personas. It would seem, according to some artifact we found not too long ago, there's a video about that on YouTube, on my YouTubes. The Ronin Yeti YouTubes. But, uh, Dark Yeti and Super Ego Yeti are the two unlocked so far. So I assume we're going to go after Super Ego Yeti yet? But I'll be honest with you, I, uh, something strange about that one. He says a lot of weird, strange shit, like what Dark Yeti was saying about me being a virus. The fuck is that? Jealous asshole. And hey, when you become a god, you still cuss, okay? It's just part of it. And I'm just god-like. I'm not a god yet. I'm just true yeti. I have to become true neo-yeti. <laughs> Come cave dick. Rest in peace, cyber mommy. Yep. We'll see. Hopefully someone has a backup of Dorothy. That'd be nice, huh? But Annie, you got your wish. There was a lot of fire. Granted, well, I, I, I even put you all on fire. There, Addy was on fire. There was a lot of fire go, coming out of his cannons. You were on fire. I was on fire. Fire, arson. So there's one line I didn't hear from Addy's random lines, but one of them was, fire, arson, fire. And he just keeps screaming it until he's like out of breath. It was really good. <laughs> he did some good takes. You're welcome. So, yeah. Nessie, Annie. Look, I can't even get your all's aliases right. <laughs> Burn it all. Burn it down and start again. Um, but uh, just going back real quickly, I, I don't think I've hit a wall with the software yet. I think there's still more I can do with this. So another feature I was going to have, and, and, and Alcatraz even came up with this uh, as well, was... Alka was like, what if I throw my Dragon Ball seven times? Because, you know, seven Dragon Balls and he has the eighth. Could something happen after that seventh time? Mix It Up does have stuff for that, where if a group of people do a certain command amount of times, they'll do something. Same with your all's armory items and stuff. So there's still more possibilities with the software. But I think I want to use better software going forward, like Streamer Bot instead of Mix It Up, After Effects instead of uh, Premiere. Maybe even use Blender or Unity. And that's the end game right there. If I can use Unity in streaming, regardless if it's Ronin Yeti or whatever, ah, that's going to be some wild shit. It'd be a lot easier than this, I'll tell you that. <sighs> okay, but I know you all are tired. Thank you so much for being patient. Um, I hope you all enjoyed yourself more, more than anything. 
I made this, I made this for both of us, uh, all of us. I made this for me because I, I have to have a creative outlet or I go crazy. And I made it for you all to try to impress you. <laughs> Did I impress you? Try to impress you, give you something new to experience and get you all involved in multiple levels, not just interacting with the stream, but hope there was a lot of meta with the dojo and stuff that involved you all with the drama and yada, yada, yada. But I, I hope in the very least you had a smile or a tear, any emotion really. I really enjoyed myself. Like I said, up until the end where it fucked up and I wasn't even screaming in the background, I was upset. I was like, of course, but I'm just so glad it happened flawlessly up until that point. So it's fine. And uh, honestly, adding in the part where you're loading your saves back, that was pretty good. I think, whose idea was that, by the way? I don't know if it was Nessie telling me or someone in chat, whoever had the idea, pure brilliance. I went with it. <laughs> Bro, but that was beautiful, beautiful recovery idea right there, brother. <laughs> no, I went with it. I saw it in chat and I was like, yes, say that, say that. <laughs> No, that was, that was a good idea. Your gayness always impresses me. Thank you, Annie. Are you impressed? <laughs> well, that's what, you know, that's what I do in the dojo a lot. If something goes wrong, I blame it on Dorothy or CB or, you know, just play into it. So uh, I've got that skill, I guess. That's a skill. But no, Boba, I appreciate it. And again, I appreciate everyone who came in, all the mods, the VIPs, the Ronin. The lurkers, the thrill seekers. Yeah, improv is very helpful, especially with fucking streaming. Look at my godly smoke. Where's the smoke? Can't see it. I kind of like this filter with the mask. That kind of looks wicked. Y'all want to see me hardcore again? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I go from. Nah, fuck, I don't feel like messing with the filters. You look like a big bug. <laughs> and y'all squash the shit out of me. Look, I like the mask, though. The mask looks pretty sick with, this, with these filters. I've had this mask for years. That's how I did the other Dark Yeti things, but I never use it. <sighs> Can I do my attacks in here? Oh, shit, dog. You're not getting caught. No. Just joke. It was a joke. <laughs> yeah, and Dorothy. So notice that's not a fluke. Dorothy telling y'all what attacks were happening and the and stuff. So maybe she's still around somewhere in some capacity. That was a lot of spam, though. I, I do apologize for all the spam in chat when that was going on, but that was part of the chaos. Chaos and. Corruption incarnate. Boba, shut up. You're too smart. You're too smart and you don't even know it. <laughs> yeah, was it obvious? <clears throat> well, remember, that's the thing, too, we were building up. Uh, we would have already got a second Dorothy module, uh, but we got to play Portal 2 with Space Jesus to get the second Dorothy module. So Dorothy herself. And there's another quote with the dojo. I do bleed into a lot of the text here and there, is that all of our enemies are from within. So, well, most of them anyway. <laughs> oh, no. Remember, we, we always do things the Ronin Yeti gaming dojo way. I'll figure some way to make it unique. But I've got, got a lot of plans. Got a big Trello board. And uh, if we're sticking with this together, y'all, then uh, I want to keep doing this shit with y'all. But here's the thing. And uh, we can end it on this unless y'all just want to keep talking. Hell, we can hang out in Discord. I got to go to sleep soon, but... Uh, I like the way we stream. I like streaming just a couple days a week or a few days a week. And I like, because when, if I'm not streaming, I'm working on the stream for shit like this. And I like that. And I, I know you all like some of the events and stuff we do, but would you all prefer like more of a five days a week, just regular stream or more uh, basic, you could say, and then on occasion do shit like this? I'm thinking that my consistency is my problem, okay? With everything. It takes me years, sometimes, months, sometimes years to make videos. Uh, all my projects, unless I have a big deadline like I did with this one, they just either get unfinished or they come much later. But consistency of streaming has definitely been a problem where I haven't 
consistently streamed when I should or more than I should. Uh, so that was one of the routes, excuse me, that was one of the routes I was going to take. Going like part-time job, full-time job sort of thing, five days a week, really bringing in the viewers. And then when we get enough people, we can, we can do these big events. But I don't mind just doing them for you all. Pre-roll ads. Get the fuck out of here. Well, I, yeah, let me see what y'all said. Uh, give it away. Give it away now. I would say save things like this for occasions. Right, right. Basically, you do too much. It is a lot. And I was going to focus my efforts on where they probably should be for this sort of thing. And then on occasion, you know, surprise y'all with some big thing. Yeah. Well, I was hoping to at least, what, like once every three or four months? Once every six months? I mean, I'd like to do more, more events like this than just that, but as you see, they do take time. But this is, this is my thought process, I guess. I feel like if I do it more consistently, we'll definitely garner more people, which means more money. Because always, everything's always about cocksucking money. And if we get more money, I can hire a team to help me with this shit, with whatever shit we need. And then we can pump out content faster. That's been, that's been my dream for a long time, is to have a team of creators to really fucking make some wild shit. And if I can make something like this by myself, imagine like four of us creating something. I, what it, like the quote said at the end here, we've learned, we first learned to walk, then run, and now we know how to fly, but what's beyond? What is beyond? I'd like to know. But that was my... Yeah, I just want to be able to pay people who are working for me. And I know if I want to get content like this out faster, it, I can't do it alone. Uh, I'd have to develop some systems. Help, AI's getting smarter. Maybe I'll just hire a team of AI. <laughs> Fucking jap, chat japs. Ch yeah, I'll hire some japs. Chat GPT to write all my scripts. <laughs> Cyber japs, baby. They don't want much money. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, th those are just like thoughts of future things, near and far. And I enjoy this. I wouldn't keep doing this if I didn't, but it does stress me the fuck out. For those that talk to me behind the scenes, that know who I am, I stress out easily, especially about things I really care about. And I really care about creating something, stuff, bringing something to the world, not just entertaining or getting a laugh, but you know, making people think about things, whether it's through visuals or ideas or, I don't know. Am I vain for thinking that? Well, I am godlike, so maybe. But all right. I think I've wasted enough of y'all's time. <laughs> mm. Gay vain. You're not gay, you're just very, very vain. <laughs> That's one of my favorite lines from Sunny. <laughs> No, I mean, pfft, entertainment's been an industry for a long-ass time, you know, all sorts of types of entertainment. But I, I don't, I guess someone like me, they normally call themselves a content creator. I like to say I'm a context creator. I don't care if you think that's a bit pig of me or whatever, but uh, I think we need more context in life. We have a lot of content, right? Content everywhere. But like the meaning, the meaning behind things aren't really conveyed well, in my opinion. Not a lot of the times. And you're like, well, what the fuck context am I supposed to get out of all of this? Well, that's for you to decide. <laughs> it's there. I promise. I promise. Thank you, Andy, for coming in. And again, thank you, Boba and Alki and everyone else who participated. All you out there who clicked. I know your fingers are tired. Time to rest. Time to rest your weary fingers and your weary mind. I will see you in the Discord. And I'll see you back to streaming possibly soon. Uh, I'm doing something very personally special for myself this month of November. And uh, once I get that out of the way, I'll feel more comfortable creating this stuff again. But uh, yeah. Yeah, no problem. I hope you all really liked it. It's my book I've been writing on since I was like 17. It's time to publish that bitch. Yes, right, you, you heard right, Annie. I'm gonna publish it and fucking put it behind me. <laughs> and maybe I'll get some money off of it. You never know. Well, I mean, you've, you've never read my book, so you don't know. But uh, I've been writing a book for a long time. 
It's got a lot of themes that this show has too, but it has nothing to do with Ronin Yeti, Yenin, any of my previous stories or anything. This is, this is its own thing, and I've been working on it for a long time. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I think that will make me feel a lot better about myself. I don't care, I don't care if like five people read it. As long as I get it out there into the world, I can say I created something that was officially published or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, either way, I'm gonna feel good about it. Cats out of the back. Yeah, well, it's not a surprise to a lot of people, I guess. I mean, I've been working on it for a while. I post chapters in the Discord on occasion. But it's time to publish that some bitch. Get some money. Maybe become a billionaire. And then my whole life will be a stream. <laughs> Show off my cars. But anyway, I'll shut the fuck up. Thank you again, one and all, for coming in. Do we even... Is CB still around? You know, CB wasn't there during that fight. I think he... Uh, I, think he thank you. I think he got the fuck out. Yes. Y'all have a wonderful night. Magic. I will see you all soon. Peace and prosper, and I love you. Bye.